This is part 69 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the difference between window height and document height and how to detect if the user has scrolled to the bottom of the page. To get the window height, use window.height and to get document height, use document.height. So what is the difference between window height and document height? The window height is what you see. So the visible area within the browser window, that's called as window height. This is often called as browser viewport. Whereas document height includes everything below or above the visible area within the browser window. So if you have a large HTML document, you know, obviously you will have a scroll bar. Now when you scroll up or down, you know, the document height includes everything below or above that visible area. So window height is the visible area. It's often called as browser viewport, whereas document height includes everything below or above the visible area. To understand the difference between window height and document height, we will be using the same example that we worked with in part 52. In part 52, we discussed how to create a floating div using jQuery. And here is that example. I'm not going to go into the details of this example. We discussed that in detail in part 52. So if we view this page in the browser, this is how it looks like. So here we have a floating div. So if we have a lot of content within the main page content section, we will have a scroll bar. As we scroll up and down, this floating div will be always visible. Okay. Now to create those scroll bars, I have already typed some content in, you know, for the HTML document. So let's copy this content and then paste it within this main page content section. So we get scroll bar. So within the main page content section right here, I'm going to paste that HTML that we have copied from the notepad. So we have a div element here within that div element. We have all that HTML. All right, so let's go ahead and save this and reload this page. Now, since we have a lot of content, notice that we have got a scroll bar. And look at this div. This div is floating on the right hand side. Now, what we want to do is actually retrieve the window height and document height. In addition to those two, I also want to retrieve the vertical, I mean, the scroll bar current vertical position. Okay, and to get the current vertical position of the scroll bar, we can use scroll top function. Okay, so let's get all these three values and display them within this floating div element. Okay, so floating div element is present in this variable. So we are finding that floating div element by ID. And, you know, as we scroll up and down, you know, window.scroll event is raised. So within the event handler, let's go ahead and append the height of the window, the height of the document, and the scroll bar vertical position. Okay, so floating div dot, I'm going to use the HTML function. And what we want to do is first let's find the window height. So window height equals, and how do we get the window height? Dollar window, and on that use the height function. Okay, and to that, let's go ahead and append an HTML break. And to that, so let's copy this. So now we want document height. So document height equals document dot height. And finally, we want the scroll bar position. So vertical. scroll bar position equals and how to get the vertical scroll bar position window dot scroll top all right so that's what we want to display within that floating div element so let's go ahead and save those changes let's reload this page and look at this as we sc keep scrolling down look at that window height is 667 whereas document height is a 1964 and look at the vertical scroll bar position as we keep scrolling down you know the scroll bar position keeps increasing look at that and when we hit the bottom look at that 
that's what is the vertical scroll bar position at this point the vertical scroll bar position is 1297 document height is 1964 and window height is 16 uh, 667 so now if we subtract let's open calculator so if we subtract document height document height is 1964 minus window height window height is 667 equals look at what we get 1297 the vertical scroll bar position okay so how to detect if the user has scrolled to the bottom of the page so here we have the formula so scroll bar position that is the current vertical position of the scroll bar if that is equal to document height minus window height then that indicates if this condition becomes true then we have scrolled to the bottom of the page let's actually include this condition and see what we get so here what I'm going to do is include that condition if scroll position so scroll position is actually present you know in this variable you know we can either use that variable or we can use this actually replay let's replace this with this variable because we are already calling that scroll top function there so let's use this variable here so if scroll position is equal to window height actually document height minus window height so document height minus window height so if that condition is true then what does that mean we have reached the bottom of the page so let's say floating div dot HTML equals you have scrolled to the bottom of the page All right so let's go ahead and save the changes reload this page and look at this as we keep scrolling down and when we hit the bottom of the page look at what is going to happen so I'm about to hit the bottom of the page look at that it says you have scrolled to the bottom of the page and when we keep scrolling up we get again the window height and document height and the current vertical position of the scroll bar okay so a very simple formula to detect if we have scrolled to the bottom of the page now sometimes you know in Google Chrome window height and document height will be same and that's because if you don't have this doc type tag so let me remove that doc type tab uh, tag and see what's going to happen save the changes let's go ahead and reload this and look at this as we scroll down look at that it reports the same value for both window height and document height this is a problem with Google Chrome but not in Internet Explorer so if you want to fix it all you have to do is include the doc type tag so let's save the changes and now it reports the correct values for window height and document height so in our next video we'll discuss how to load data like Facebook as you scroll down the page thank you for listening and have a great day